During South by Southwest this year, I had the unique privilege of spending the night at the Bass Concert Hall for the first performance in North America of Sleep by British-German composer Max Richter, known for his work on HBO's The Leftovers, Miss Sloan, and the recently released Hostiles. Sleep is an eight-hour music experience unlike any other available today. This show is unique for a number of reasons. First and foremost, it's an eight-hour concert with no intermission and no breaks. The orchestra of a handful of violinists and cellists, a singer, and Max Richter on piano play the entire duration of what appears to be a handful of songs that flow as one. And since the performance lasts all night, privy to its name, it is meant to be enjoyed awake as well as asleep. Instead of sitting in the audience as one would during a normal performance, Richter places a lucky group of 100 to 150 people on the stage with him, surrounding the orchestra in some terrific beauty rest beds. According to a pamphlet they gave participants, Richter composed the score working with neuroscientists. The concept being that a piece of music can assist in the transference to and from sleep without interrupting it as well. With much excitement and enthusiasm, I can say it works masterfully. It was the best night of sleep I've gotten in a long time. Considering I probably only slept four hours the whole night, I felt abnormally refreshed the next morning. The performance opened with just Richter on piano gracefully gliding me into a sleep like a metronome. A large booming sound joined the soft piano, and, and with every boom, I became substantially more tired. But before I knew it, the whole ensemble were playing, filling the stage with, the ki with a kind of an ever-drifting ever -drifting motif. This piece echoes into the next part of the concert, when the, when the singer performed a majestic vocal over a humming synthesizer, played by Richter. It was during this track that I first fell asleep, or at least I think. The night is somewhat of a blur, like a dream, because throughout the whole performance, I recall drifting in and out of sleep seamlessly. This is what makes the show so beautifully odd and truly like no other. I would fall asleep to the singer's voice, only to wake up sometime later with her voice again. This combined with 150 strangers sleeping or, singing or, uh, sleeping or listening around me can make for what some would find an uncomfortable experience. But at least to me, as well as, the as, well, as, well as my perception of my fellow participants, was quite comforting. Now, don't let my constant waking and sleeping as an indication for the failure of the piece. Having loved the performance so much, I have since listened to the full eight-hour album twice while sleeping and have stayed asleep throughout the night both times. And if you just want a taste of the eight-hour experience, there is an hour version entitled From Sleep also available. I feel so privileged to have gotten to be a part of this concert. It was truly a once-in-a-lifetime experience, and I hope everyone gets a chance to try it the next time Richter and company come to perform in the U.S. But in the meantime, if you're having trouble sleeping, Check out the full-length album Sleep, which was released on Spotify and other online platforms earlier this year. And even, if you and even if you do stay awake, you still get the pleasure of hearing what I would argue is the greatest lullaby of all time. A lullaby for our frenetic world.